the narrator for Goldilocks and the three bullfrogs. Once upon a time, there was a family of bullfrogs. They lived in a small house at the edge of the pond. In the backyard, they had their very own swimming pool. It had three lily pads. One was for Papa Bullfrog, one was, one was for Mama Bullfrog, and one was for Baby Bullfrog. One day, the Bullfrog family was just getting ready to sit down for a meal of soup. But the soup was very hot. So they decided to go out for a short hop before their meal. By the time they returned, they expected the soup to have cooled down. Meanwhile, a little girl named Goldilocks was walking in the woods. She noticed that the little house at the edge of a pond. She went inside. Goldilocks took a spoonful from Papa Bullfrog's soup, but before she took a sip, she noticed that something was strange. Then she took a spoonful of Mama Bullfrog's soup, but before she put it in her mouth, she again noticed that something was odd. Then Goldilocks noticed that, that baby bullfrog soup didn't have any flies or crickets. This soup is just right. Goldilocks ate all of baby bullfrog soup. Then she, t then she looked out the window and noticed the frog swimming pool. She thought <coughs> it would be nice to take a swim. Goldilocks swam for a while. She noticed that there were three lily pads in the pool. This was strange. She wondered who lived lived in this house. It looked like it would be fun to sit on the lily pads. Goldilocks climbed up on the on Papa Bullfrog's. Lily pad. Goldilocks stole back into the water, the water in, into the water and swam to Mama Bullfrog's lily pad. This lily pad is too slippery. She swam oh. over to the third and final lily pad, which belonged to Baby Bullfrog. This lily pad is just right. Suddenly, there was a strange bur burbling noise. The lily pad was sinking. Goldilocks fell into the water with a splash. Then she swam to the edge of the pool and got out. Goldilocks decided to go back in the house for a look around. She walked upstairs. <coughs> the first thing she noticed was a very bouncing looking bed who lived in this house with fly soup. Fly soup, lily pads in the pool, and a bounce bed. Goldilocks climbed onto Papa Bullfrog's bed and began to bounce. She immediately flew high into the air and nearly bumped her head on the ceiling. This bed is too bouncy. <coughs> Next, she tried out Mama Bullfrog's bed. She hopped once. And nothing happened. She hopped again, <coughs> and still nothing happened. This bed is not bouncing. So Goldilocks began to jump on Baby Bullfrog's bed. <coughs> it was just perfect. She could bounce higher and higher, then lower and lower. She could do flips and flops and tricks. Wee! Woo! Yeah! After a while, Goldilocks grew tired of bouncing on baby bullfrog's bed. She laid down and went to sleep. Soon the bullfrog family came back from hop, hopping, hopping back their outing. They were hungry. 
and looking forward to some tasty soup full of flies and crickets. Suddenly, Papa Bullfrog noticed that something was not quite right. And the three bullfrogs noticed that something was different about their swimming pool. Someone's been sitting on my lily pad. Oh, no. With all the commotion, Goldilocks woke up. She was greeted by a family of bullfrogs staring at her. They were hopping mad. Goldilocks got out of the bed and jumped out the window just like a frog. Then she ran out of the woods and never, never snuck into a strange house again. The end.